Hi guys, today I'm gonna tell you what I had to do before coming to Canada to start my pilot training. Okay, so let's say you decided you want to start your commercial pilot training. You want to be a commercial pilot and you decided you don't want to do it in your home country, you want to do it in Canada. For a lot of reasons, you chose Canada. I chose Canada because Canadian licenses are recognized everywhere. We fly under IK rules and it's a pretty strong country. Also, my brother was living in Vancouver. He told me a lot about the city and it's an amazing country. Vancouver is amazing. The view here is insane. The scenery is great. The weather is nice. So I recommend you come to Vancouver. I found a very good school and I decided to come. So after you chose your school, you're gonna have to pay an application fee. With that fee, it's around $250 in most schools. That, that money that you pay for the fee is gonna go towards your training so you're not losing the money. It's just so they are sure you're, you're actually serious about your application. You're just not sending applications all over the place. They are gonna send you all the details of the school, training, schedule, and all of that information. In order to apply for a study visa, you need a letter of acceptance from a designated learning institution. If your school is not a DLI, it cannot give you the letter of acceptance. And that's a crucial part of your visa application. Once you apply for a visa, you need to send a letter of acceptance all the information they ask you to fill it up. You need to go to a Canadian embassy, they're gonna get your biometrics. You also need a medical exam. That exam is not an aviation exam, it's just a general exam they ask everyone that's coming to Canada to study and you have to do it. The process is fairly simple, it's just a bit long. There's a lot of applications, so it takes a couple months. My application took over four months. I did it from the Philippines. Everything is pretty clear and straightforward in the website, so you shouldn't have a hard time with that. If you have any questions, please just contact me. I'll help however I can. Once you get your visa, after a couple months, you're gonna come to Canada. At the immigration in the airport, they're gonna ask you for your passport. You're gonna have the Canadian study permit over there. And with that and your letter of acceptance, they're gonna give you your visa. With that visa, you're allowed to study full time. Also apply for a social insurance number so you can work part time. Right when I got here, I already started ground school and my flights. At first, it can feel like a lot. Uh, everyone, before they start the visa application, they think it's gonna be uh, a headache and a long process, but it's fairly simple. Before I came, it was very good to have someone on the other side to help me with all the questions. So if I can help someone, it will be a pleasure. Next week, I'm gonna do a video on how to choose a school and what you need to take into consideration when choosing a place, an airport, a school, because that can save you a lot of time and money. I'm also going to do a video talking about all the requirements for the different licenses I'm doing. Every single license has a different requirement, of course. Uh, so please consider subscribing to see those next videos. And if you like the video, please just click on the like button. That's going to help a lot. And i see you next week. Thank you.